Hi everyone, today I'm in my workshop to show you a brand new instrument. It's an ocarina kit that you can put together by yourself. Here's what the completed ocarina looks like. I've used a clear finish on this one because as a woodworker I like to see the joinery. Of course you can always paint it if you want to express yourself with colors. So now let's take a look in the box and I'll put one together for you. You get a fingering chart with playing instructions. It also has two simple tab songs on the back. Another card has complete assembly instructions with easy to follow diagrams. And of course you get all the pieces of the ocarina. So let's get started. First, lay out all the parts like a jigsaw puzzle. The sides can only fit to the bottom in one way, so you don't have to worry about putting it together wrong. Just lay it out so it looks like this. Now all you have to do is flip up the sides. Start with the front, then the sides, and then the back. The way the joints are cut will automatically lock it together. Now you can use a rubber band to hold it together while you apply the glue. If you've never used super glue, be real careful. This stuff will glue your fingers together in about one second and it will glue them to the sides of the ocarina just as fast. Just squeeze glue into all the joints from the inside. The super glue is real thin and watery so it will soak right into the joints and hold the instrument together. You don't have to worry about being too neat, just get it in there. Once the glue is dry, take the rubber band off and squeeze more glue into all the joints. Just let it soak in and go all the way around, being sure that you squeeze more glue into every joint. Now, to seal the inside of the chamber, you can use any type of wood sealer, but I like to use this lacquer-based sanding sealer because it dries real fast. You can also use shellac or varnish, but they take longer to dry. If you get any sealer up on this top area, be sure you wipe it off with a paper towel because it could keep the top from seating properly. Here's an example of how the glue by itself didn't completely seal the chamber. See how the sealer has seeped through? Once it's dry on the inside, apply a second coat. You want to be sure that all the joints are sealed completely. This time no sealer leaked through the joints. If you have a small file of any kind you can use it, or you can use a fingernail file like this. But you need to file the flat slope of the lip and also smooth the groove of the windway. Just lay the file flat against the lip and move it back and forth. Don't take off too much wood, you just want to smooth the sloping ramp a little bit. Also file both halves of the windway. The two parts are identical so it doesn't matter which piece goes down first, but the lower part is turned so the groove is facing up. The upper part is turned so the groove is facing down. 
The two parts are put together so the two grooves form the channel you blow through. Place the lower part of the windway into position with the groove facing up. Now spread glue on each side of the windway. You'll notice two lines that run parallel to the groove. Don't get any glue inside these lines because if glue squeezes into the windway the ocarina won't play. Place the upper part of the windway into position with the groove facing down. Just mash it down, hold it tight, and then squeeze a little more glue into the joints. Remember, you always want to let the super glue soak into every joint. Now put the top into place and squeeze glue into the joints just like before. Once the glue is dry, you can start sanding the outside. When the outside is as smooth as you want it, you can start applying your finish. I'm using the same sanding sealer that I used on the chamber, but you could use shellac, paint, or varnish. When the finish dries, you need to sand it lightly between coats. We're going to apply two coats of finish. Now apply the second coat. Sand very lightly. You don't want to sand through the finish. You just want to smooth it down. You can improve the tone of the ocarina by applying some olive oil inside the windway. It helps to protect the wood from the moisture in your breath, and it also helps to create a smooth surface. Put your olive oil on a piece of folded business card and just slide it in and out. I also like to seal inside the finger holes. I'm using a pipe cleaner to do this. It's a good idea to seal the wood on the little lip, too, because you've got end grain exposed there. Rubbing some oil on the outside will just give it a little bit of extra sheen. So here's the finished instrument. Let's see what it sounds like. I like it.